Recently I asked you in the community tab to guess which blue solution I'll be using in one of my upcoming videos. There were lots of guesses, but the first person to correctly identify the solution as called ozone dissolved in carbon tetrachloride was fluoron red. In the book Reactive Chemical Hazards it's mentioned that boron magnesium reacts vigorously with tetrachloromethane. A while ago I made a video where I dropped boron magnesium into various organic chlorides and iodides. Now I want to remind you how that reaction looks. In this video I've decided to take that experiment a step further by dissolving one of the strongest oxidizers ozone into tetrachloromethane. To achieve this I cooled the beaker of tetrachloromethane and while stirring I added a concentrated ozone solution in oxygen. Ozone solubility in tetrachloromethane is a little over 6 grams per 1 liter of solvent. As it dissolves, the solution turns blue, with the intensity depending on the ozone concentration. Hey guys, I generated the ozone using my new ozone machine, which produces 10 grams of ozone per hour. Currently I'm working on a larger video about ozone, but I wanted to showcase some reactions separately like this one. I also plan to make individual videos about the reaction of hydrazine with ozone and another one on potassium ozonide. All of this is made possible thanks to the support of my dear patrons, so if you can, consider joining them. Now let's move on. The blue solution of ozone in carbon tetrachloride behaves like gaseous ozone, for example, readily releasing iodine from solid potassium iodide. The same reaction occurs with a potassium iodide solution in alcohol. I used an ethanol solution, because carbon tetrachloride doesn't dissolve in water, making the reaction with an aqueous solution less visual. When ozone is added to the ethanol solution of sodium bromide, the released bromine turns the alcohol yellow. Now it's time to soak the boron magnesium into ozonated tetrachloromethane. For a first test, I placed the boron magnesium into a warm, light blue and thus lower concentration solution of ozone in tetrachloromethane. Even with this lower ozone concentration, in slow motion you can see a brighter flash compared to the regular tetrachloromethane reaction. Next I tried making the most concentrated ozone solution possible. Look how deep blue it is.
I used the same high-speed camera settings for all reactions, and with this one, the flash was absolutely blinding. This clearly shows the difference between a regular tetrachloromethane reaction and one with ozonated tetrachloromethane. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other fascinating reactions with this incredible gas. Also, leave a comment below about the thousand reactions you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.